Coming into a brand spanking new weekend, and it's Friday, August the 7th, always elated to be joined by our next guest. Now, hold on, let's do this. That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM, and well, I tell you what, uh, we're going to be releasing ultimately this morning a brand spanking new song coming out of Diamonds and Whiskey, and believe me, it's going to be great to be able to catch up with Jennifer Wedge, uh, Webb, and also we're catching up with Paige Gregory for the very, very first time. I'm looking forward to talking to her and Gear Miranda. Now, you remember Gear, right? Hell yeah. Yeah, I remember Gear a lot as well. So, you know, I think it would only be fitting because there is a link to this particular release that we play one of Gear Miranda's Viking Queen songs. Yes, he's the manager of Viking Queen. Let's play Blood of a Viking. <coughs> How are we feeling? Are we okay? <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> I heard that. I was like, that's awesome. <laughs> um, I said to Gear a couple of weeks ago, sorry bro, but I make fun of you. I take little bits of what he says. I go and play with them in production and come up with, well, you know, a bit of humour. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, uh, Gear, how's, yeah. how, how's the lady? How's your missus? She's here. Hey! 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 Hi. Nice to Hi, see you. Hi. Nice. Hi. You understand how I make fun of gear, don't you? Yeah, I'm a witness. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I've got official permission. Yeah. He is. He really is. I love his work. I really, really do. And um, uh, I, I think this one is a winner. Yeah, you couldn't get a better band to perform... This particular track we're working into, I really, you know, and what a genius to write it. <laughs> I, I really, I'm, pr I'm proud that Jennifer did a hell of a job. Absolutely, she, absolutely. Uh, wicked, you know? <laughs> oh, thank you. I feel the same way about you. <laughs> now, Jennifer, we're going to uh, do a little bit of muddy water after this. Uh, and we'll have a little chat about it after that and all that sort of stuff. Uh, I want to introduce Paige to our, what I call our audio audience. I don't want to call them our fans because, they, you know, <laughs> they are our audio audience. So I'm going to introduce her uh, and have a little chat about... Cheers, gear. <laughs> yeah, I got coffee. <laughs> Oh, yes. well, we're this is going to be the best ever. <laughs> ladies, ladies, he has his own brand of vodka. <laughs> and he exercises the right to uh, use it often. <laughs> yeah. I will show you now. Yeah. Anyway. Hi, Brandon. Hang in there. Hi, Brandon. There the girls go. are here. There you go. Uh, hang in Brandon. there, guys. We're going to go live. Brandon Lambert's online. Nice to have you, Brandon and Lovin. Diamonds and whiskey really are, but being a big fan. Seven FM thirteen after ten o'clock. It is fourteen degrees downtown. Struggling to make the weatherman seventeen degrees. Uh, kind of not holding too much hopes for my prediction of twenty degrees. And I'm laughing at Barbara's twenty four today. But you never know. Might turn around in the next yeah decade or two. It is Friday, August the seventh, and absolutely excited. I really, really am. I just played Blood of a Viking coming from the band Viking Queen coming out of Norway and. 
Well, I am honoured to have, of course, Gear Miranda, the uh, the manager of Biking Queen, join us this morning. Good morning, Gear. How are you? I am fine. And uh, good morning, New Zealand. It is a pleasure to have you and the lovely with you. I, I absolutely love her work, especially with Biking Queen as well. On the other side of the uh, coin, we have Jennifer Rowe, Jennifer Webb, coming from the band Diamonds and Whiskey. We're going to be talking about the new release very, very shortly. And Paige Gregory. Paige, it is an absolute pleasure to meet you. You put something on. Is it cooled down now? Yeah, it's gotten really cool in here. This AC is kicking in quick. Uh, it kind of happens that way when I come on screen. Everything cools down. <laughs> It's a global effect. It really happens. It doesn't matter. I could be in Jennifer's bedroom and it's going to get really cool there as well. You know what I mean? You are in my bedroom. <laughs> See what I mean? Uh, um, no less, ladies and gentlemen. I could have been a psychic. I really could. Uh, now, at the same time, Jennifer, uh, we're going to play Muddy Water. So why not tell me a little bit about that? And i got to say, by the way, Jennifer, Brandon is joining us live right now online. Oh, I'm so glad. Hey, Blam, we're happy to have you. <laughs> Blam, Blam, of course, that's right. I Blam. kind of remembered that. Blam, yes, that's what we call him. Um, yeah, we're going to talk more about him in just a little bit. Um, but yeah, Muddy Water, last time we talked to you, it had been requested 37,000 times. So we're really excited that it's doing well over there. Uh, not only well, it's absolutely climbing. It really, really is. Uh, you're up around about the low 40,000s now. Oh, wow. wow. You know, it's just going ballistic. It really, really is. And, of course, Paige, you're the manager, uh, co-manager. I think uh, Liz is involved as well. Uh, nice to have a family deal happening right there, I've got to be honest with you. Uh, but you're the manager of this extra uh, extraordinary band. How did you meet publicist. them? Publicist. You're the publicist. Yeah, that song is taken off like crazy. Um, just today, I got a lot of requests for the song to um, be played on their stations. So it's insane how it's still going. We, they released that song like the week before CRS, which is Country Radio Seminar in Nashville. And like the time couldn't be any more perfect. You know, uh, I, I can't fault the song. I've said this to Jennifer in the uh, in the past. Uh, well, I've been in her bedroom. You know, we've just been snuggling up there a little bit very, very recently, <laughs> and uh, I said to her that, that, you know, this one has resonated with our audio audience, and it shows in the numbers, it really, really does. How, yeah, absolutely. how did you meet Diamonds and Whiskey? Yeah, so it's kind of a really cool story. So they were at CMA Fest in Nashville, Tennessee, and my grandma Liz Gregory was there helping out with a booth they were at, signing autographs, taking photos and everything. And my grandma told Jennifer about what I do and everything. And then me and Jen had went back and forth texting, conference calls, this and that. And then we finally you know, worked out a deal where I could work with them. And ever since, we're coming up at year mark. So it's been so much fun. Um, just so many amazing things have happened. It's I can't even... Yeah, I'm just so excited and so proud of them. We worked so hard. Well, you I, do work hard. I, I got to be honest with you, Paige. Don't change a thing. Keep this good work out because, believe me, uh, I think you're on to a winner right there with Diamonds and Whiskey. I really, really do. So now, much. Yeah, I do too. I got to give a shout out to Brandon, of course, uh, Ben, uh, Chris McKinney, and Elena as well. Now, I love Elena's work. I really, really do. Uh, big fan. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, i, I got to be honest with you, uh, I kind of liked, uh, and we had Diamonds and Whiskey this morning as the feature artist in the breakfast show, uh, and I, I kind of loved the uh, the womanified version of Devil Went Down. Mm -hmm. the, uh, yeah, it's really good. Yeah, absolutely. Love, love, love that. Now, was it Elena that played the fiddle, fiddle on that? Yes, Elena did play the fiddle on that. Um, so I played the piano, and Brandon uh, played guitar. Uh, and, excuse me, he played bass, I believe. And then um, Drew Ross came in and played guitar on that track. But yeah, Elena did the fiddle work. And then, of course, we have the video out for it as well. So that was really, really neat. Um, Lexi 
uh, Films by Lex came out of Nashville to video that here in South Carolina. So that was really cool, and it turned out amazing. Very devilish. You know, and and all the east side. I'm, I'm, oh, go ahead. Yet uh, you do realize that uh, the original Charlie Daniels just passed away just a few weeks ago. So believe me, it's an absolute honor to be able to play something uh, that is as good. But I think you've put a very, very original spin on it for yourself, Jennifer. I really do. Thank you. I love it. I really do. Uh, but now let's get into it. Diamonds and Whiskey right here at Galaxy 107 FM and Muddy Water. How are you feeling, guys? You alright? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know you'd be alright, Gare. <laughs> I really do. Gare's always okay. smiling. Yes. I'm weak now, so I will re relax. I'm, I'm being a little bit a robot today. Oh, okay. Do you want? Do you know Robert? Yeah, I know Robert. Yeah, I yeah, so, I, so I rush home to start to drink me too, so. Oh, fair enough. He, he didn't go running around and jumping into anything wet, did he? No. <laughs> today, mate. We'll come here uh, this Sunday. Oh, okay. Oh, well. Make, make sure that there's a, um, a, a life ring or something there for him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, dear, dear. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, by the way, Gear, how the hell do you um, pronounce the town you come from? I don't know. It's... <laughs> oh, I... <laughs> it's spelt S V E L V I K. Yes. I, I think it's spelt vodka. I think that's what it says. It's Norwegian for vodka, isn't it? No. <laughs> no. no. Also, you know, also, also my town, town is also a lot of uh, famous band members some live here. Uh, movie star, TV production, uh, art concert. It's everything live here around. <laughs> also, <laughs> it's <artist> town. Yeah. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, I'm fine. I'm asthmatic. Yeah. <laughs> Corona. No. <laughs> Only if it comes in a bottle with a lime. I think you need this now. Yeah, I do. You I do. Need that. Um, let's go back to the desk because, Gear, I want to talk to you about Dr. John. <laughs> That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM, and of course, uh, a bit of money water from Diamonds and Whiskey. Now, uh, Paige, I, I got to ask you, how do we get hold of this band? Uh, are you the one that uh, controls all the Facebook, uh, the Instagram, stuff like that? Or does Jennifer do it for herself and Brandon and everything like that? Is it a combined effort here? or uh, uh, Because fans want to know, they want to get in touch, but more importantly, can they respond? Yeah, absolutely. Jennifer responds to everything, the comments, the messages. Um, you know, there's some times where I will make a post on the actual page, the business pages for Diamonds and Whiskey, but Jennifer will respond back to the engage the fans commenting this and that. But yeah, she responds back to everything. She makes a lot of the posts. There's times where I have to step in and make posts, but yeah, she pretty much does everything. And then Brandon also helps out a bit too here and there. Yeah, I, I kind of see Bam every now and again myself, but you know, uh, well, I don't, to be honest. Uh, I never seem to find the time. But uh, 
well, now you're going to get a few more uh, fans or uh, audio audiences, I prefer to call them, contacting you because believe me, it's going to get ballistic, this particular track that we're going to be releasing worldwide. 64 countries, uh, 92 cities around the world right now tuned in. Uh, and believe me, some really, really good ones, including Uganda this morning. I'm really pleased to have you guys along. Uh, now, Gear, let, let me talk a little bit about you, because believe me, not only have we known each other for a little while now, quite a minute actually, uh, but we have a lot of respect for each other. Now, believe me, uh, when I first met you, you're the manager of Viking Queen, to which I've been waiting almost about nine months now for the newest track to be released, but we're not going to go there. <laughs> we aren't. You also are a songwriter of some acclaim, my friend. You really, really are. And I've always, always, always liked your work. I really, really have. And I know that you've done something with a little bit of Warner Brothers and a little bit of New Zealand involved in it. And I'm talking about Lord of the Rings as well. I uh, wrote some music for that. But now, uh, and let me just say this, uh, you're, you're the new songwriter for uh, Diamonds and Whiskey for this time round. And I think this is an extraordinary track. And it really, really is absolutely work well done. How did you come to the lyrics of Keeping On and Keeping On? Uh, I'm writing this line for seven, eight year, years ago, and um, this time uh, I, I, I write this line when I was drunk. This is the truth. And when I'm writing, I have a lot. I'm thinking about everything, you know. So everything comes on the paper. I, uh, uh, when I was drunk. I, 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 <laughs> that is the truth. You ask me and I tell you the truth. Dear, yeah, I, I know you well enough by now to know that is exactly what you're telling me is the truth. It really, really do. Uh, now, at the same time, uh, I was talking to Dr. John uh, not, so, not so long ago, actually, and I see that uh, he's not only promoting the Mighty One, but he's doing a few uh, promotions for the Viking Queen as well. Well done. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. I love that. And of course, uh, you can hear Gear Miranda's music on RadioBeats.com, Viking Queen, 26th of July, coming up. Uh, but now, at the same time, Gear, did you realise that uh, Dr. John is bringing out a magazine? <laughs> no. He is. He really is. Guess who's on the cover? <laughs> Believe me, with me on the cover, it's not going to sell a single item. It really, really isn't. Uh, but yeah, um, we're in the inaugural, uh, and uh, he's doing a big write-up about Galaxy and everything like that, and how we get behind indie artists, much like, of course, Diamonds and Whiskey. Now, uh, having said that, Gear, you are the author, the uh, songwriter for Keep On Keeping On. Yes. Let's delve into how Jennifer got this, and believe me, a uh, bit, bit of lyrics and... Uh, Bit of uh, music to go with it, kind of thing. Uh, also, the you know. first, uh, the first time, uh, I think Jennifer she contacted me about to vote uh, uh, a diamond and whiskey uh, about some competition, and we starting to talk and talk. So we start to call each other, and so we starting to work together. And uh, I told about this song and. So I sent the song over to Jennifer, and we liked this song. You know, uh, I absolutely love it. Now, Jennifer, you take this and make it into a masterpiece. How did you do that? Oh, my goodness. Um, well, if you've listened to our music, you know that we're a little country, a lot of rock and roll, a lot of blues. Um, so Gare and I talked, and he said to take it and make it our own. So I wanted to go with the real swampy New Orleans feel. So Brandon and I got together, or Blam, and um, I gave him my idea, kind of where I was going, and he came up with that initial rhythm guitar lick, and it's amazing. And then we built the song off of that. Uh, Chris McKinney, as I said, came in and, and added that 
the tribal type beat um, and definitely gave me what I was looking for. So, um, yeah, my guys just came in and um, took the direction and created this song with me, and it turned out really, really cool. You know, Jennifer, we think this is going to be a winner here at Galaxy. Uh, Paige, you should be very, very proud of the collaboration that's going on right now because, believe me, I think this is going to be huge. I really, really do. Uh, having said that, so surreal times right now, Jennifer, uh, Jennifer and Paige. Uh, are you planning at actually going over to Norway, over to Scandinavia way, and uh, performing at any time soon? Yeah, so we're waiting to see what's going on with the coronavirus. As soon as we're able to travel, we plan to go visit Gear and um, to do some more music, I hope. But yeah, we are hoping to get to Scandinavia um, to perform at some point. Nice, nice. And yeah, it was tell Jennifer, you must tell uh, Grant about the plan we have, Whiting Queen and Diamond and Whiskey together to, to make our song together. So I... So my plan to have uh, uh, some country heavy metal together, you know, yes. Viking Queen and whiskey and, and diamond and whiskey together for one song and mix everything in. You know, yeah, yeah, that's a huge mashup, really. I'm, I'm loving the concept of this. I really, really am. Yeah. Uh, of course, uh, Lady E and uh, Lady Red and, uh, and the good lady behind you, all part of the Viking Queen. Uh, compliment. I, I can see this working. I really can. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, uh, Paige, uh, will you be taking Liz with you? Um, I don't know. We have so much going on right now. We have a, um, there's just so much going on. I don't know if she'll be able to go, but one of us will go. <laughs> Fair enough, too. I understand. I really, really do. So, let's break this to our listening audience right now. Over five million people, by the way. Joining us here is Diamonds and Whiskey, and keep on keeping on. Cheers! Cheers! Yay. It's and so cool to hear it on the radio. That's so awesome. Oh, believe me, there's um, five million and sixty-nine thousand online right now so uh how many five million sixty nine thousand that's great yeah it's down well actually it's down by a couple of hundred actually it was uh up over five and a half earlier on this morning but uh it'll build up again it fluctuates <laughs> you know what i mean yeah it really does um is uh brendan still with us yeah he's he flits in and out he yeah. flits in and out yeah Okay. His name is Berlam. A Berlam? Not a Ban? Berlam. I'm Bar. Bar. Bar Bar. Well, now you're just getting me confused. Come on, cut that out. <laughs> My staff are playing with me. How's that? Yeah. <laughs> They're giving me hell. They really are. Yes, if you really want a good job. Don't come here. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, when, when is the Mighty One going at the same time with Diamonds and Whiskey? Yeah, is, is the Mighty One coming at the same time as Diamonds and Whiskey, Gear? What? Is the Mighty One, Tim and the boys, are they coming over at the same time as Diamonds and Whiskey? Uh, Tim will come in September. Okay. And we were shooting this music video on uh, Christmas in the North. Mm -hmm. oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. So, and so we will come out with a new song together, too. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, oh, hey, awesome. We, we're just a big family. Yeah. Mighty One, it's... Diamonds and Whiskey, Viking Queen, us. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, the, the network's wonderful. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. And loving it. Really, really are. Mm. I really am. Um, <clears throat> oh, and John, don't forget John. So when's the next track coming out, Jennifer? Oh, well, um, <laughs> in, I think in about six weeks we're actually going to release a live recording of Wasted on Your Love, another song off our album that's absolutely amazing. Um, 
so we got we got new music we're gonna send you guys um we're in studio this month doing pre-production and next month recording our new album so we're gonna have a whole new album out at the beginning of the year wow. um so lots of new stuff coming for everybody to listen to um so we'll get some singles out probably at the end of the year we're excited about that you know jenny i'm excited i really really am because uh, Thank you. I, I love your style i love your work i love your everything about it i'm a huge fan as you know so uh I'm looking forward to brain speaking new stuff. And maybe you're looking forward to my bedroom a lot more. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I was just going to say, maybe you might invite me back into your bedroom again. <laughs> hey, I need to thank Clayton for that liner, by the way. Yeah. Oh, it's good. Did you? Brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> Hold on. Let's get back to the desk. <laughs> Right, brand spanking new. We're coming from Diamonds and Whiskey and the Association, of course, of Viking Queen and Gear Miranda writing that particular track. Love, love, love it. And uh, Jennifer, hoping that you're going to be bringing out new stuff in the near future. Come on back again for another interview. What do you reckon? Oh, of course, of course. You know, I love you guys. And, and I've got to be honest with you, Gear. Absolutely love your work, my friend. The only thing I can say to that is, Hell yeah. yeah, of course. <laughs> what else would yeah. you? Yeah, what else would you have me say? Hell yeah, love that work. <laughs> Absolutely, um, Paige. It is an absolute pleasure to finally meet you. Well, maybe not in person, but you know, almost right. Uh, but absolutely love, love, love your work. Keep up that good work. Pass Thank you so much. Pass love on to Liz as well, won't you? Oh, I will. I'll tell you said hello, and thank you so much for having Diamonds and Whiskey on your show again. It's an absolute pleasure, and believe me, uh, of course, Jenny, well, we're family. You know, if I can visit a bedroom, you could not call me family, <laughs> surely to goodness. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and, of course, Gab and this lovely lady over there, believe me, uh, we've been family for a little while now, quite a minute, actually. And, uh, well, you know, we're just good mates. We really, really are. Looking forward to having you guys coming to New Zealand, too, by the way. And uh, we're still working on that. We really, really are. Uh, might have to do a revised ad, though, because uh, we're sort of subject to what the government's doing right now. You know what I mean? Yeah. But we do want to have Viking Queen, the mighty one, and Jennifer, of course. We've spoken in the past about getting you down here, down under as well, playing. You never know, we might be able to put a trilogy together. What do you think? I think that's a great idea. Yeah. <laughs> Don't yeah. let the kicks on that. Absolutely. Yes. yes. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> and believe me, dear, I've got that sound bite too, by the way, bro. <laughs> I have really played with a lot of uh, parts out of that particular ad that you made, to be very honest with you. So uh, we will have to have a revised one because, believe me, uh, we w I don't think we're going to make it by February, unfortunately. But, you know, maybe by uh, the other end of next year it might be all hunky-dory we might be able to make it you know what i mean yeah yep yeah. in the meantime i uh, gotta thank dr john uh, for uh, making us the feature article in your new magazine and believe me i'm looking forward to seeing that uh, and uh, congratulations gear for getting dr john to be able to promote biking queen he does an absolutely wonderful job now i've got to ask uh, Jennifer, would you mind if I spoke to Dr. John about diamonds and whiskey? Would it be all right with no. Paige to be able to work? Uh, and because the, what I'm saying here is he does have a label and would be very, very interested in promoting you in the UK, uh, through England, all the way through Germany, down into uh, India, places like that, Japan. He does have those contacts. Uh, can, can I get him to uh, get in touch with you? Can we make a meeting so that he can get to meet you and, well, you know, it's only an introduction. You never know what might happen. What do you reckon? Yeah, I think um, 
we get uh, him talking to Paige, uh, that would be awesome. Um, Paige is, is incredible at that, and yeah, definitely want to talk to promoters over there. Um, but yeah, I've been watching Dr. John um, and keeping up with what is going on with those artists that he has. So yeah, we would absolutely love to um, to maybe do a venture with him. That would be amazing. Well, i got to be honest with you, Jenny. Um, a lot of those artists that you're looking at, we've introduced to them. Yeah. You know, the very awesome. the family, and we kind of feel because we trust John, we really trust John. He's been doing it for well almost 20 years now, he knows what he's doing, literally. Right. He's really made a niche for himself. Uh, he's actually separated his label at the moment, uh, one into metal and blues and stuff like that, another one into country. You know what I mean? So he's making it available now. He's got this magazine going on as well. I'm excited about that. And, uh, well, he's wanting to break into the New Zealand market as well. That's the deal, is that he brings the galaxy artists that we introduce here to New Zealand. You know what I mean? Because he does shows. Yes. And I think I could see uh, Gear Miranda and Viking Queen playing in England. I really can. I can also see Mighty Queen, do, uh, uh, the Mighty One, doing the same thing. And at the same time, I can see Diamonds and Whiskey playing in, in England, going into Germany, all the way through, down through Scandinavia, uh, into places like India, you know what I mean? Um, at the same time, coming down here, down under, and making an, an Australasian tour, now we're talking a world deal. Right. You know, so uh, Paige, I'm going to get Barbara to introduce you, uh, have a chat, all, I go, all I'm going to say there, Paige, is... You never know what might come of it. You know what I mean? Absolutely. No, I'm excited. I can't wait to meet him. And, and of course, uh -huh. uh, Gear already knows John. And, uh, well, you know, he's, he's getting things happening. He really, really is. What is it on the 26th of July? It's, no, it's past. Uh, that's that's past. That's the first time. That, that was the first time. time. Yeah. Okay. And, and he's still doing it, mm -hmm. isn't he? I saw it on the uh, Facebook mm -hmm. interwebby thing yeah. Yeah, earlier on today. So, uh, believe me, he's getting behind you as well. Uh, and... Uh, have a chat to him, please, guys. Uh, and uh, believe me, I may be talking too much, but at the same time, uh, it's a very important message to get across. Absolutely. Uh, stay there, guys. We're just going to move on. But in the meantime, uh, I'm going to go back to Studio B. You're right here at Galaxy 107 FM. Good morning. Galaxy 107. Galaxy FM. More music, more Galaxy.